Hi, this is an overview of what we offer at Key Stage 4 in music. Uh, currently we offer RSL, Music Practitioner Level 2. Now RSL Rock School London is a vocational course, which means there's no written exam. It's unit based and you do some practical work and then back that up with written activities. So the three units that we look at at RSL is musical knowledge, that's where we look at the mu history of music from about 1950 onwards. Uh, musical performance, this is the largest unit, uh, you plan a performance, um, you rehearse for it, you do the performance and then you evaluate it. And then there's some composition work as well where you get to actually write. So the musical knowledge unit, we look at the history of pop and rock and we study artists and compositions from a really wide range of musical genres that fit under the pop and rock music umbrella. So we look from things like uh, indie music, uh, Britpop, funk, reggae, a really wide range of different music uh, genres. We also look at the music theory and how the music has developed through both theory and the, uh, and the technology that's changed over that time period. Now this unit's assessed when you actually create your own research project. You will choose one of your favourite artists. And you'll have a deep dive into their influences, their career, who they've influenced and their impact on the music scene that they're, they're a part of. You also create a listening guide for songs. So you'll look at how that song's been constructed, the instrumentation, and you'll reflect that in a presentation. So the musical performance unit is the largest of the three units and essentially what you do is you uh, plan a performance, you rehearse for it, you perform and then you assess it. So throughout that entire process you have to do every single one of those steps to make sure that that's a successful performance. So you'll create performance logs, uh, rehearsal plans, you'll actually perform and then you'll review that at the end. So you'll have a look at things like health and safety, how to run a successful event, uh, as well as run a successful event, uh, as well as all the musicals, things like your instrumental skills, your performance skills, as well as communication skills, both as, as a musician and someone running an event. And the last unit that we look at is the composing music element. So for this, we use loads of different techniques. We use all those things that we've done in the musical knowledge unit of what we studied. We use these techniques to actually create some music. So we'll use things like uh, digital audio workspaces to actually record these. And so we'll use MIDI files, things that we might have done before in Key Stage 3, but now we're going to do it to a higher level. We'll use music theory to back up our, our compositions. And at the end of it, we'll actually submit a composition with a score. And then, you'll again, you'll reflect on that. So looking beyond Key Stage 4, uh, music A-levels at 6th form will complement quite a lot of different subjects. Now, what it's really good idea to do is looking beyond what you've learned to do at uh, six four and uh, A levels, even further at university, it's have quite a good range of different subjects. Having some creative subjects that, as well as academic ones, really stands you out when you go into universities and employers. So here we've got a few jobs and careers that this subject could then lead to later on, after six form or after university. Now there's quite some specific music related ones. Um, going into music production or music performance side of things. But then there's some not really music specific ones like music therapist, managing, promoting, which you get from uh, the performance unit, uh, looking into copywriting, going into teaching. There's a really, really wide range of careers that you could go in after taking this subject. 